Hello, brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining us today for the TWU Local 100 Annual Workers Memorial Day Recognition. On this day each year, we remember and honor all working men and women who lost their lives on the job. We mourn not only for those we've lost, but for those we left behind. We recognize the terrible burden that workplace deaths and injuries place on workers and their families and society as a whole. We have been doing this important ceremony since 1989. That is the year when the AFL-CIO first proclaimed that each April 28th would be set aside to mourn for the dead and fight like hell for the living. I'm proud to say that TWU was at the forefront of the campaign to establish Workers' Memorial Day more than 30 years ago. In 2019, 4,725 workers were killed on the job across the country. Hundreds of thousands more were injured. These numbers are unacceptable. I'm committed to protecting the lives, rights, and livelihoods of TWU members and reducing workplace accidents, injuries, and fatalities. Safety on the job has always been a top priority for Local 100. We have worked hard to create the safest possible work rules and to ensure that transit workers have the right safety equipment and PPE to prevent accidents and defend against assaults from the public. In the past 21 years, we have lost 17 of our fellow transit workers who clocked into their shift but did not make it back home. We, as a union, will never rest in the battle for a safer workplace. We still have much work to do because all our efforts still have not stamped out death and injury in our transit workplace. In recent years, transit workers have faced yet another threat to their lives. Those who worked at Ground Zero in the aftermath of 9-11 are becoming sick with many cancers and lung diseases. We have worked hard to get these heroes what they deserve from the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund. In 2020, we succeeded in forcing the MTA to comply with new state regulations ordering employers to restore sick days taken as a result of a 9-11 illness. On another front, we finally succeeded in getting our landmark diesel bill passed in Albany. Governor Kathy Hochul signed this bill into law late last year. It allows a family to file for death benefits through workers' compensation for a diesel exhaust-related illness. The bill especially impacts the family of retirees who for years tried to file for death benefits due to diesel exposure through workers' compensation only to be routinely rejected. Since the bill was enacted, nearly 50 transit families have already refiled for benefits with more to come. I am truly happy that we were finally able to bring this legislation across the finish line for those transit families who will ultimately benefit from this victory. These past two years, we faced a new and unforeseen menace that threatened our very way of life, COVID-19. Transit workers are essential to the lifeblood of New York City. Your heroic efforts played a vital role in combating this disease. I am enormously proud of the way we responded to this crisis as a team to make our workplaces as safe as humanly possible against the spread of the virus. But today, Workers Memorial Day, we pause to remember those 17 transit workers who paid the ultimate price in a sudden and unforeseen incident that robbed their families of their loved ones. Please join me in silent reflection as we honor these great union brothers and sisters.